So first we're going to apply foundation all over your face and this is going to create a super smooth canvas so the colors will really pop out. Next is concealer. I'm concealing my under eyes mainly, but you can conceal whatever you need to. Remember when it comes to foundation and concealer, blending is key. You don't want any harsh lines and you want it to look like a second skin instead of a mask. Now I'm applying a foundation powder with a big fluffy brush just so it gets dispersed evenly and you don't want it too caked on. Then I'm setting my under eyes with a translucent powder and now I'm going on to highlighting. I'm using a fluffy white brush for this. This is going to make the highlight pop and pack it on just where we need it. Now I'm doing a bit of a heavy contour. I'm going back in with the fluffy brush and yes, this is going to be heavy. It's going to be noticeable. It's not meant to be blended out for everyday use, so that's okay. For the rest of this look, I'm using face paints. You can honestly use whatever colors your heart desires. I just went in and I started putting random colors in places. I blended a bit of the orange with the yellow, uh, things like that. It's really up to you how you want to do this. This is a super editorial creative look and there really are no rules. Using a brush like this really helps to create these specific lines and a stippled look versus having just flat color on your face. The lips could be a bit difficult just because of what we are used to and we need to fill in the lines of the lips and do a certain way, but remember, going outside of the lines is perfectly okay here. You want to keep in mind that when you're going in with the black face paint, you need to be super careful and you need to know what you're doing just because it is super difficult to wipe off afterwards and it can potentially ruin your entire makeup look. So do it with a careful hand. Typically when it comes to eye looks, you want to blend out the look a lot, but honestly, those rules went out the window with this look. This is going to look super patchy, super uneven, and it may look really sloppy and weird to some. However, I want to stress that this is super creative and it's meant to be fun, so go for it. If you do not feel comfortable using the black face paint so close to your eyes, you can also use a regular black gel liner.
Now we're going back in with that contour shade just to deepen it up a little bit and blend it better with the black shade. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed watching this. This is my NYX Face Awards 2017 uh, submission. If you guys really enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And I got my fingers crossed. This is like the second or third time I've tried to enter it. I did something completely different. This is very editorial, very colorful, and face paint, and fun. I thought you guys would get a kick out of this. It's cool, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, give it a thumbs up, please. Share with all your friends, please, please. The submission period is all throughout April, so please, oh, I would so appreciate your vote because ever since the Next Face Awards came out years ago, I have been dying to actually be in the running. So I have my fingers crossed that this year is my year. So again, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more videos. I put out new videos every Monday and Thursday, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.